Hello guys and welcome to the game room. Uh, I'm Jared. And I'm Ryan. And uh got a lot of talked about. Quite a lot. Um BlizzCon was just last weekend, uh and they came out with a few things. Uh a few. Quite a few. And uh well, let's just go out and say it. Uh the next Ma expansion. Miss of Pandaria. It is happening. All that uh, has gone on in the past few months at Blizzard really uh, trivial, but uh, can't say I have too much to complain about. I don't know about you. I know you're quite uh, quite happy about it. But, uh, this is about to happen. I want to get one thing straight. Right here, right now, in front of this camera. This next expansion, the fourth expansion of World of Warcraft, is not based on this movie. At all. Let me tell you. Whether the fact that Pandaren have been in the World of Warcraft universe since Warcraft came before this movie is relevant. The fact to say that Blizzard is copying Kung Fu Panda and this expansion is about Kung Fu Panda, the movie, is kind of ridiculous. Because one, it just straight up isn't. If you look up any information about the culture and lore of the Pandaren and what their goal is in like releasing themselves into the world of... Wow, I actually was just going to say World of Warcraft. Um... <laughs> But the looking at that and the fact that you cannot like the idea of a kung fu practicing panda is so widespread. Like it didn't start with Blizzard. It didn't start with kung fu panda. It didn't start. I don't know anywhere. Like it's too broad of a concept to say that this expansion is copying kung fu panda because kung fu panda copied it from the original whatever it was that came up with the idea of a kung fu practicing panda. Yeah, and the, the amount of people that are pissed off about this, you know, it just goes to show you that, you know, a lot of people that play World of Warcraft aren't exactly the most mature. <laughs> uh, needless to say, I mean, this isn't targeting little kids, uh, a lot of the people that actually are happy about this are the older folk that play this game that have, you know, they're, they're the real, like, lore, uh, people, um, they're the real, like, uh, lore addicts, I guess you could say, that, you know, the, the Pandaren have been in since, uh, Warcraft 3, and, uh, even though they were just a slight cameo, uh, you know, they, they've been there, and this has been a long time coming, um, by a long shot. By a long shot. A lot of people have been wanting Pandaren to be in the game ever since release. Ever since release. And I'm glad that they didn't put him out until now, because the animations of these guys are ridiculous. The type of engines that they have to make the animations for characters now are just kind of so yeah. better than, <laughs> than what they had back in, at the release. Because, like, I don't know, they were talking about, like, the structure of them, right? That they have, like, ten times more, like, bones than all yeah. the other character models. It's like a, it's like a worgen has more, like, stuff in his beard than a whole dwarf has in his whole body. Yeah. Like, and it just keeps growing. Yeah. And, uh, needless to say, they're going to be do some, doing some changes to, uh, to the rest of the races, um, throughout the expansion. Um, basically making them more limber, making it to where, you know, everything's just more lively, I guess you could say, um, in the World of Warcraft. Uh, Basically, this whole expansion is based on revitalizing WoW. 
you know, we had Cataclysm that pretty much destroyed Azeroth as we knew it, and uh, they're trying to rebuild uh, to a new Azeroth, I guess you could say. Um, this expansion will be all about that. But a um, few other things. Uh, Blizzard has uh, done this new opt-in uh, called the Annual Pass, and basically what you do is you say... Uh, it's an online contract that you sign and you uh, you get uh, World of Warcraft, uh, you pay it off for a year, and uh, whether you pay it off all at the beginning or month by month, you can do it subscription-based uh, just as you have been for the last uh, you know, six How or seven long. years, and uh, you get a few free things. You get free Diablo 3, which is... The big hooker. The major, 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 <laughs> major uh, hook into this is getting free Diablo three. Uh, you get uh, Tyrael's charger um, based on uh, Tyrael um, in Diablo three, and uh, you get um, absolute beta uh, opt in for uh, uh, Mist of Pandaria, which is absolutely exciting. Um, you basically, like, if you don't do this, like, it's no biggie. Like, you'll you'll you know still be able to get Diablo. Uh, you'll you won't get the mount, uh, but you'll see a lot of people who will have the mount, mm -hmm. um, which will kind of be a kick to the teeth if you don't do it. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you pay for a while for the next year, and then you realize, wow, like, why didn't I do this? And then. Uh, you will probably definitely not get into the beta opt-in um, for Mist of Pandaria. So, um, there's just a few of the things we're going to be talking about this episode. Um, basically, just recapping uh, and everything that happened at BlizzCon. So, um, yeah. So, segue from the annual pass, you get access to the Mist of Pandaria beta, in which you will be testing out some of the new things they announced at Blizzard. BlizzCon. Including... Pokemon! Um, Pokemon! Um, new pet battle thing. Yeah. Uh, your companion pets can now be leveled, um, caught out in the wild, and battled against your friends or NPCs. You can go around to different masters throughout um, the world and battle them. And each one of them specializes in a different kind of, you know, vanity pet. So, I don't know about you, but I think I've seen this before somewhere. Somewhere. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's going to be really cool. I really do. I'm pumped up about it. I'm pro This is probably the thing I'm most excited about, about this expansion, is this. Because we have something else to do. <laughs> like, uh, something else to do. Yeah. yeah. Twiddle our thumbs while we wait for raid resets and uh, other things of the sort. So, uh, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, about this whole Pokemon thing? If you've ever played a Pokemon game, you know how it works. You go out in the wild, you engage a wild Pokemon, battle it with your own, and then you either defeat it and get rewards like experience and money and that type of stuff, or you can catch it. And this is pretty much exactly what this is. You go out in the wild in the various zones throughout all, um, I was shot at, throughout the, the entirety of the game, and there will be wild vanity pets out there that you can just get. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to buy them or spend gold or anything. You just go out, you find them out there. And you capture them. You engage them and you capture them. I don't know if you're going to have to engage them, like, with yours, with your vanity pets, or if you just, like, auto-attack it or some, something. I don't know. That, it hasn't been specified yet. But you will be able to capture them, capture them and use them in these battles against NPCs and your friends. So, like, you know how you see duels out in front of Stormwind and Orgrimmar, whatever you're faction city is. You're going to see a lot of pet battles going on. A lot of pet battles going on. 
Because I don't know about you, but I've been playing Pokemon since I was... A wee little lad. A wee little lad. Since, like, blue version. Straight up OG blue version. I think I might still have it. I should play that again. I know I still have it. I, 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 had, I had, at one point, blue, red, and yellow. The one where Pikachu follows you behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that one. That was fun. But, um... In these battles... You get a team of three pets. Like, in Pokemon, you have your roster of six that you get. You get three at any given point, and each one of them has three abilities. Um, you get to swap out which abilities that they have access to. They'll learn new ones as they level up. Um, it also looks like they have, like, two item slots for, like, potions and just other items that you can give to your pet that haven't been announced yet for healing and increased stats or something. They'll probably get some kind of watered-down stats, like... Stamina, attack. Stamina and attack. (laughs) (laughs) Resistance or something? Yeah. Oh, wow. If they put in, like, some kind of resilience thing. Or, not resilience, but, like, resistance is, like... Oh! Like, like, nature, all that shit. Yeah. That, too. So, that'll probably be watered-down version of what that is. So, Yeah. Pokemon. So, uh, another thing, uh, the Pandaren Racials. Um, they have the most overpowered Racials ever announced for a class, race, whatever, in the game, period. You get a, like, what is it, 150, 150%, 100%, 100% increase on food buffs. Um, this is incredible. Uh, because you kind of the food buffs right now in this expansion are amazing as they are, which means everything in like pursu- or ensuing expansions um, they always increase um, with the level, right? Which we'll get to this in a little bit, but uh, Blizzard has also been talking about. Um, doing something to uh, kind of regulate um, the uh, the amount of stats that your character has. A um, little bit of tuning that they'll be doing, because uh, right now, as it is, stats are kind of ridiculous, and getting them up even further will just be even harder on Blizzard to kind of try and regulate everything, because uh, as they are right now, everything is completely... Like, everything's balanced, but you can still do some pretty ridiculous things um, in regards to health and uh, damage output and burst DPS, all this other stuff. Um, But anyways, uh, they get uh, even better decreased fall damage than pretty much any race or class in the game. Um, And on top of that, uh, what else is it? So the food, fall damage, and something else. Double rested. Oh, um, a double rested experience. This is uh, to promote, kind of, not really to promote parking your uh, Pandaren and just going off and leveling other things while he gains all this rested stuff. And uh, it, it's more of a, uh, like, you get more benefits for that. Uh, that sounded weird. But, anyways, um, it's you don't get double the experience um, from rested experience. You get double the duration. Like, the your rested uh, Will last bar lo- lasts a lot longer than uh, any other character. Um, and all three of these things are absolutely ridiculous. Um, 15%, or not percent, 15 cooking skill and quick and calm. 3%, 3% oh, yeah. sleep. They get a three second sleep, and they get uh, well, oh, the fifteen uh, points, I guess, in their cooking skill free, um, and that's kind of ridiculous, um, mainly because no other class in the game has anything close to that, and uh, there's all, all the rest of the. Uh, uh, profession increases are like five or ten. Um, that's pretty much 
the most ridiculous thing ever. So it's going to be interesting to see how they balance that out with the rest of the uh, races. Um, moving on to monks. Uh, monks are pretty much the epitome of everything I've wanted in this game. Uh, they have no auto attack, which is unheard of. Um, but at the same time, it's really interesting because the the way that their classes, like the their abilities, work is like you uh, you have uh, um, chi, and uh, you have a few moves that cost chi, and then all the rest of your moves are finisher moves. Um, and when you use chi, you get uh, light and dark orbs and all your finisher quote unquote finisher moves um, use light and dark orbs and it's not like a combo point uh, basis um, where you build up combo points and then uh, use them it's more of a balancing how many you have uh, in using your quote unquote finisher moves um, accordingly um, the monk class can uh, be melee DPS, a uh, tank, or a melee healer, which is kind of interesting because uh, they've never had anything like that in the game. Um, one thing to be noted is that the healing uh, class, you will have a stance that you will be in um, to heal, um, and this stance basically takes your chi bar away and replaces it with a mana bar. Um, but other than that, pretty much everything works the same. Um, also, a revamped talent system, again. But by revamped, they don't really mean revamped. They just mean completely new. Because whenever they, whenever they revamped the talents for Cataclysm, it was still the same. You get points, you spend them, but you have less, and... That was pretty much all the difference was. Um, but now, the new talent... Well, I say now. Um, in, the, in, in the next expansion, the Mist of Pandaria, the talents will be more or less not really like talents. It won't be like you get 31 points to spend in this tree and you have like points along the way. No. You get six choices um, throughout your character's life. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90. You get one point at each one of those levels. And you get to pick whether you spend that point in one of three choices. Like you'll have choice A, B, and C to spend um, your one point in. And these, these talents aren't going to be like X percent more damage from this ability or X percent more healing from this spell or whatever. It's, it's supposed to get rid of things that you're supposed to take. Like, right now, if you look up any, like, build for, like, DPS, PvE DPS, if there's a talent that increases your damage versus, like, increases your survivability or whatever, some other utility thing, you're going to take the damage. Almost always, you're going to always take the damage, even if you are, even if it isn't a PvP spec, or a PvE spec. If you're doing a PvP spec, you're probably still going to take it, depending on how your playstyle is. They're trying to get rid of dumb talents like that, so that you go down your tree and you won't see damage, no damage. I'm going to take the damage. Like, if there's a talent that gives you damage, you're just going to get it for picking that spec. Like... At level 10, you'll pick your spec, and you get your class ability and various passive class perks, right? Just like it is now. But now, along with that level 10 specialization ability, you get more specialization abilities as you level at, like, various levels, 25, 40, 60, whatever. It'll be things like, things signature to the spec, like for Beastmaster Hunters, it'll be Beastial Wrath. You won't get it at level 10, but you'll get it at, like, say, 40. Just for picking uh, Beast Mastery. You won't get that as Marksman or Survival. You'll get other things as Marksman or Survival at various levels. Um, on top of those are your just regular class abilities that you get from your trainer that are usable across all specs, no matter what you pick, whatever. And most of where the talents are, they broaden out on those. Like, 
the first tier for the first tier of talents level 15 for warriors is all about your charge. Charge is now usable in um, for any spec in any stance and in combat by default. And all the little perks that you get for picking, um, I mean, for for uh, all the little perks you get at level 15 for your charge are things like. You can charge twice in a row, like bam, bam. That's gonna be cool. You get like a, a like a root at the end of your charge or something. Like, it's nothing that will really increase like your damage or your survivability or anything. It's just kind of this is cool. Which one do you want? Like, it won't impact how you play the game. It won't. It won't impact how effective you are at what you want to do. It'll just impact how you do it and how you want to do it, which I'm really excited about. Most people are actually really excited about because it kind of takes away the factor of someone just being dumb and ignorant and not knowing how the right spec is. There's still going to be cookie cutter specs. They're trying to get rid of those, but they're never going to do it. There's going to be more cookie cutter specs um like for for this boss you want this set of talents and for this battleground you want this set of talents you can't change them they're gonna be there's gonna be a way to change them um that's like glyphs where it's a reagent instead of going to your trainer paying for a full respec i think you'll be able to change out each tier separately if you want to for this boss or this battleground or whatever you'll be able to change them um yeah you have to be out of combat um, that's how everything is but um you'll be able to change it between bosses between battlegrounds if you just want to but there will always be that kind of general if you do it this way it's going to work out like there's not going to be like a a wrong way to do it more or less For instance, um, a lot of the things that are a lot of the things that are specific to specs, you'll be able to get as any spec. It'll be one of your little talent choices. Like you'll be able to. One of the talent choices for hunters is uh, like a CC type thing. You can pick from silencing shot, wyvern sing, or intimidation as any spec. It does not matter. You get to pick what type of other type of control that you want. And they're trying to do this to broaden out what specs can do what. So that there isn't, this spec is better at this, it's these talents are better at this. And you can play whatever spec you want and still get the same effect. If that makes any sense. But I'll tell you what doesn't make any sense. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. Well guys, uh, this is it for the game room this week. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the hit the big yellow button uh, above this little window that we're sitting in. Um, if you have any questions for us, if you want to see anything uh, on our episodes, if you want to see any guides uh, or anything in particular, uh, leave it in the comments or email us at thegameroomchannel at gmail.com. Um, follow us on Twitter at thegameroomchan. Um, and uh, also follow us on Facebook at The Game Room. Yeah, The Game Room. Uh, type it in in the uh, search bar. will be the uh, first thing that comes up. So uh, without further ado, all of this will be in, uh, in the description. Um, go to our website, thegameroomtv.com. Uh, all of our videos will be there. Uh, guides, uh, all the uh, channel videos and everything. And uh, yeah, so 